Welcome or welcome back on Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and I do have the pleasure to present you a hands-on video with the Breitling Premier B01 Chronograph 42 millimeters with a steel bracelet. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. If you do so, you have the chance to win the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. The happy winner will be announced in the community section tab January 2021. Good luck! In my hands, the new Premier B01 Chronograph 42mm. And to start with, uh, I would like to give you the sizes of the watch. 42mm as I just said, 42mm and the height of the case. You can see here, height of the case is 13.65 millimeters and the so-called lug to lug distance, lug to lug distance is 50 millimeters. So it is a quite a big watch, a big chronograph, but still very comfortable to wear, fits perfectly on my 17 centimeter wrist, as you can see on the wrist shot. And, uh, it is a size that is also due to the size of the movement, of the chronograph movement used. It is in this case the in-house B01, the automatic chronograph movement from Breitling with a column wheel and it is not a Valju or not a Silita, it's the B01, the in-house manufactured chronograph movement of Breitling, 70 hours of power reserve. There we go. The dial is a so-called reverse Panda dial, reverse Panda dial. We saw the Premier, this, this chronograph equipped with the same Breitling B01 movement with a Panda dial already and now we have a reverse Panda, meaning that the colors have changed. A Panda dial means you have a bright colored um, dial and you have two black subcounters looking like a Panda. And this is the reverse Panda. You have a black dial with two bright Subcounters, and so this is how you call such a dial reverse panda. Yep, so the chronograph on the dial is showing um, the running seconds. Here, there is the, uh, the running seconds, and here I have to get pull away the hand a little bit so you can better see the subcounter. This is the 30 minute subcounter. 30 minute subcounter, there you go. And you see, I've been activating the chrono four minutes ago and the hand of the subcounter is standing at a position of four minutes. And when arriving up here, it will show five minutes. So the date disc down here, black, very nice. I love it very, very much if the date disc color matches the color of the dial. And this is the case. So we have black, black. There's no white hole or something comparable. You have a black date disc showing the 20th and now let us watch the hand minute hand arriving and we, I'm focusing on and you will see it jumped to five. We do have a, tick, a tachymeter scale on the Reho on the outer side of the dial. There is a tachymeter scale so you can make some measurements, speed or any or uh, production numbers if you want to. You have the two push pieces perfectly integrated. Uh, in the case, perfectly aligned, of course, since it is a fully integrated chronograph. And uh, you have the big B shown on the crown. The crown is not a screw down crown, but has two gaskets. So it's perfectly waterproof to 100 meters, though watch. So 100 meter waterproof, this uh, sporty chronograph. From the side, you have this uh, nice design. Here, matte surface, and you have some uh, lines that are horizontally. Yes, very, very, very nice. It's a metal bracelet um, consisting of uh, brushed and polished elements. Brushed and polished. You have brushed, polished, brushed, polished elements. Um, making a nice look, uh, mirroring the light in a nice way and uh, reflect, giving a nice view on the watch. You have a security on the buckle here. When you open it, 
it's a security with gloves that's not easy. You can see here the security. Yep. There you go. You can open up. There you go. Brightling engraved. That's the folding clasp. Um, there is no quick length adjustment available, but um, there are holes uh, in there. You can see them. There are um, more little holes that have been drilled in there and you can then adjust the length in the clasp, but you need a tooling to do this. So unfortunately, there is no quick length adjustment. So yep. And if you need to take out um, some of the links, um, they are screwed. You see here the screws. And then you unscrew them and you can take out links and to adjust the length of that nice bracelet. Breitling, I show you here the Breitling 1884, the B. And good to, to see and I want to show you, of course, see-through case and uh, through the see-through case we can see the B01 movement um, now we can see it it's a little bit uh, tricky with the reflections um, you have when you film but now you can clearly see the movement it's the B01 chronograph of Breitling automatic chronograph column wheel chronograph and I will Turn the automatic rotor to the other side so you can see the balance wheel oscillating at 28,800. So the chronograph is displaying uh, 1 8 of a second on the dial. There you go. Nicely finished surfaces um, with the different, um, different types of uh, surface treatments. You have uh, engraved on the rotor. Forgive me the forgive me the uh, the reflections. It's a little bit difficult to precisely have it here. You have Breitling engraved, and yeah. There, now you see. Here is the see-through case bottom. Yup, from all the sides. I am coming back to the reverse panda dial from the front side. Start stop, that's not a flyback chronograph. I want to say this. So if we are pushing now the reset push piece or the reset, the, yeah, the reset push piece at four o'clock while the chronograph is running, nothing is happening. You have to stop it. We're stopping it and then we can reset the chronograph. Start. It's a very defined, typical for a manufactured chronograph, a very defined, precisely defined point where the chronograph is starting. So it's not uh, uh, confusing when you push the start stop push piece um, button at two o'clock. It's a precise point. You, you know, you feel it in your fingertips and then you know you're going to start or stop the chronograph. A nice noise too. Sounds very Yes, mechanical sounds not cheap at all. Let me also show you the watch when it is uh, at night. We are having some super luminova applied on it and so you can read the time also in the dark. The watch is sold in Austria with the metal bracelet for 7,900 euros. If you don't want it and you say, okay, I prefer a strap. Um, a leather strap, um, you can buy the watch with a pin buckle and leather strap for 7,320, including 20% VAT. We have 20% VAT here in Austria, so you have to deduct 16.666% to get a net price. Or the best thing you can do is go on the Breitling website and the Breitling website will know where you are and then show you the correct prices. Thanks for watching this little presentation of the premier chronograph with the B01 in-house manufactured chronograph movement of Breitling. Your comments are welcome and I'm happy to answer your question. Bye-bye.